In previous video, we learned how to find out the second derivative, and now in this video, I'm going to find out the a little bit higher derivatives also, as uh, as much we can, right? Depends on the situation, like till which number we can find out the derivative. Like in somewhere we can find out the fifth derivative, somewhere we can find out the till eighth derivative. Depends till nth derivative, I can say, right? So here I have got a, a function, and uh, that function I'm going to write that is y equals to f, uh, sorry, five x to the power four minus 3x square plus 11 if if you have the habit of writing like f prime of x then please uh, sorry f of x then please write like f of x all right whatever you feel easy uh, actually i had uh, when when i was doing schooling i, I learned like this uh, y equals to and then blah 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 whatever the function we have and uh, if, if you have writing like f prime of x or g prime of x then please in uh, you can write in that way all right so uh, we know what is second derivative. It just uh, uh, what is uh, what is second derivative? It is just like derivative of the first derivative. So first derivative, that is we also write like uh, f prime of x, right? F prime of x, and which uh, those people who write the notation of dy over dx, they can give like this. Right? Both are actually the same notations. So now let's find out the derivative of this. Five times four. That is 20, and power will be reduced by 1, so it is 3. And now 3 times 2, that will be 6, and power will be reduced by 1, so there is no necessary to write 1 here in the power of x. And derivative of this 11, the man is single, no variable, so the constant of this will be 0, right? So this is the first, first, first derivative. And uh, now let's find out the second derivative, right? Second derivative, let me write here. Uh, first derivative that will give you the more emphasis, right? This is first derivative, and second derivative is actually f prime double prime of x, right? Second derivative is just the derivative of the second de uh, first derivative. If you are if you are going to differentiate the first derivative, uh, like this is a function f prime of x is another a uh, kind of function, you know, now which which we have already discussed. Like you can imagine like something like g prime of x, sorry g of x g of x is your function which is 2x cubed minus 6 now you can easily find out the derivative of this that is g prime of x right that will be g prime of x right so you got the first derivative and now uh, second derivative I'm going to find out uh, if you are giving this kind of notation that it will be d square y over dx square is now now 20 times 3 that is 60x square minus 6 so this is our Yes, second derivative, which question was asking, right? We give the second derivative, we find out the second derivative. Now, uh, they are saying higher also, if there is possible. So, let's let's write all higher possible, whatever they are. So, now let's talk about the third derivative. Third derivative means three primes, all right? Or if you want to write in this way, then it will be d cube of d cube y over dx cube. So now 60 times 2, so it will be, I'm just going to find out the derivative here, right? And the derivative will be 60 times 2, that is 120. And this x to the power 1, that is not necessary to write, and 6 is 0, right? So now this is your third derivative, all right? And when will we be finding out the fourth derivative? F 4 times prime, all right? x, which also you can write like, <coughs> you can write like, 4y over dx4 and now you know this is third derivative and this uh, like this this 120x is a function you know something like you can say h of x is a function which is 120x so you can easily find out the derivative of this function h prime of x that is going to be 120 you know so again i meant to say uh, uh, this 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 uh, like fourth derivative of this 120x uh, fourth derivative of your function is actually the derivative of the, your 120x, right? So this is actually derivative of 120x with respect to dx. You can write in this way also, or simply I'm going to write here 120. And yes, this is my now fourth derivative. All right. Now one more possibility is there. Of finding now let's find out the fifth derivative one two three four five of x or you can say like 
d to the power 5y over dx5 and derivative of this 120 is a constant whose value is 0 so now my fifth derivative derivative is going to be 0 so this is fifth derivative All right so my fifth derivative is 0 so now I cannot go further already I got a constant right so uh, this is my fifth derivative until this point we are able to find out the derivative uh, depending on the function which type of function you have right and uh, that will determine actually till which point you can find out the derivative of that function I hope you understand how to find out the second derivative and some higher derivatives if there will be any problem you can comment you can you can feel free you know to comment just below this video I, I will be really happy if you can comment and if I can improve myself that would be really wonderful you know that in the further video I can I can improve it and a better quality you'll get alright so we'll meet in the next video bye bye